Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Morty. Welcome to today's read. Today I was going to do uh, the mid-month read for December for the sign of Aries. So welcome to uh, all my Aries friends out there and soul family members. Thanks for letting me do this read for you. Um, yeah, Aries, what a great sign, you know. Um, I was going to read just a little bit about uh, some of the Aries personality traits in just a minute here, but you know, when I was getting ready, when I was shuffling the cards, um, yeah. I was just sitting here thinking, and I was thinking, you know, it's so interesting when you look at the different signs, and you look at these different personality traits, and with every sign, there are some that are very positive, and then there are some that are so limiting, um, and it's really interesting, and you know, rarely does it ever vary from that. Um, and it's just kind of like, all right, well, you know, we all wanted this to create this 3D experience for ourselves of unpredictability. And to make it interesting, we said, like, here's the signs, right? Here are the limitations. Here are the positives, right? Now juggle them. Try to keep them in balance. And by the way, you're going to have all these planets moving around at the same time, and that's going to change everything. So it's going to keep change and guesswork always, always taking place, which is, I think that's the whole point, is change. Um, it's all just stimulating change. And change is necessary because change brings growth. So, yeah, I think that's a big, one of the, one of the, one of the major key points uh, as far as the point of it all, it's all about experience. And experience happens when change takes place. Um, yeah, so it's interesting, it's kind of fun. But I thought I would take just a minute and let's just talk a little bit about Aries. I love Aries, by the way, you know. I mean, if, you, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're looking for just some great energy, um, some creative energy. You need somebody to just to, to jump start something, um, to initiate something, to really get it going. Boy, not, no better sign than an Aries out there. Um, people born under the zodiac sign Aries are curious, energetic, upbeat, and enthusiastic personality who want to initiate and make things happen rather than being mere spectators. The need for excitement push them into new territories and makes them extremely action-oriented. So they're adventurous. They love adventure and taking risks. Courageous, very willing to step up to the plate and take on new challenges. They're versatile, typically skilled in many different areas in life. They're lively, typically full of enthusiasm and energy. Uh, positive, they exude a lot of positive energy and it's usually noticed by everybody around them. They're passionate, they're very passionate about people, places and things in their life. Now, as far as some of the limiting energies, um, they can come across as arrogant at times, feeling like they're always right. Stubbornness, um, they can be fixed in their opinions. Um, impulsive, right, a little unpredictable. Um, they can be impatient. Um, indiscipline, they can be scattered at times. Confrontational, they're not afraid to uh, confront others on matters. Um, and then incomplete projects. Uh, sometimes if an Aries can get uh, completely bored with a project and lose interest, they can walk away from it. So there can be a little incompletion here and there. Anyways, those are, uh, that just teaches us a little bit more about Aries, which is, it's kind of fun just knowing a little bit more about Aries as we go into the read. It might make the read a little more enjoyable. But I thought I would start the read by just tapping my Tibetan singing bowl just to clear the energy and, uh, and to let my guides know that we're about ready to start. Okay. So I thought I would uh, I would be, begin today's Aries read, and this is Aries mid-month December, once again. I thought I would begin it by pulling an affirmation card, taking us into the read. 
Let's just find out what affirmation Aries needs to know about. And keep in mind, this read won't be for every Aries, but it will be for some. Um, you may be an Aries sun sign, um, or you may be an Aries moon or rising sign. Um, or you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Either way, welcome to the read. Um, and my name is Morty, and it's great to have you have you here and, and uh, enjoying this read with me. So let's get started. Okay. So... The affirmation that Aries has, taking them into mid-month December, is study. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. So yeah, this is a this is a great affirmation card. <clears throat> So what this tells me is that, is that some of you Aries out there um, are probably going into the middle of December, maybe taking on, um, maybe taking on some kind of new project. Um, it can be, uh, it could be a work-related project, um, something in the work environment. Um, it can be education-related, school study-related. Um, it can also mean. You know, some kind of specialized trainings, um, a specialized study. Uh, it can mean that, but yeah. So for a lot of uh, for a lot of areas out there, I think you're you know sometime around mid month December. Um, I think you're you're probably taking on that energy, of, and it's that energy of of learning and developing the skills um, and the understanding of something new. Yeah. Great affirmation. So today I was going to uh, do this read from my Psychic Tarot deck by John Bella. And we just want to see what's happening out there for Aries, mid-month December. I mean, December is a great month. Beautiful time of year, you know, with with Christmas and the holidays. Um, I mean, I may be wrong, but you know, everything is frequency; it's vibration, and you know, including ourselves and, and our own frequency varies and changes, you know, day to day, depending on what's happening in our lives or around us. Um, but I, I really think that um, you know, the Christmas spirit, the holidays, the spirit of giving spirit of thinking about others, being more compassionate, being more loving. Um, I don't know, I really believe that it, uh, that across the board, worldwide, I think it kind of raises everybody's vibration, um, raises everybody's frequency because we're more mindful and thoughtful of others, we're more giving. Um, it's less about us and more about, our, more about uh, those outside of ourselves. So I think it's a great time of year. All right, so tell us what the opening energy is for Aries, mid-month December. Okay, so you have accelerated motion. So whatever's, whatever's happening in your life, um, whatever change is coming in, and I do, think, I, I do think that there is, you know, for some Aries out there, I think there's, some, there's a, maybe um, some changes or a significant change coming in sometime around mid-month December. Tell us what Aries needs to know. Okay, so we have transformation. So this card is equivalent to the death card in traditional tarot. So in, in what, what the death card represents is um, typically, it means something coming to an end, um, or it can be a transition. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a change taking place or some type of transition from one thing to another. 
and it may be part of what Aries has been studying for. Um, it's coming in quickly. Patience and planning. Solar plexus chakra. This is the energy of I can. Yeah, so whatever whatever Aries or some Aries have going on in their life, whatever this this new change is, this new transition that's coming in. It's coming in, not abruptly, uh, but it's coming in after a considerable amount of patience and planning. So that tells me that for some of you Aries out there, you've really been working um, on this for a little while. Whether you've been physically putting in time and effort and energy, or you've been putting in energy by way of thought, um, thinking about it, um, uh, constructing it, you know, putting it together. Um, yeah, because even in thought, um, you, you put those energies there, those, those thoughts are going to convert themselves to some type of action in your behavior that's going to promote this transition, this new change coming into your life. So we have temptation which is equivalent to the card of the devil in traditional tarot. We have the harmony card. Let me pull a few more cards. And see what comes out. That's what Eric's needs to know, mid-month December. Okay, so <clears throat> we have the Harmony card, which this is equivalent to the Lover's card in traditional tarot, um, card Gemini. It's falling underneath transformation. So, you know, it tells me that, you know, for some areas out there, you know, you're transitioning you're transitioning into a relationship it doesn't have to mean it doesn't necessarily mean a relationship with a person although it can mean a relationship with a person but um, this is a strong spiritual union so it can also be an interest that you have it can be um, a promotion at work. Um, it can be taking on an entirely new job or new career, um, but embracing it. Um, and it creating this harmony and this spiritual union. Now this can also mean a relationship as well. You know, that it can mean ending something and you're transitioning into um, Aries is transitioning into, you know, a whole new loving relationship. But whatever it is Aries is transitioning into, it's beautiful. Because it's the fulfillment of your wishes. Um, that's a, that card is equivalent to the Nine of Cups in traditional tarot. Uh, it's just a, it's a fantastic card. Um, yeah, it's really giving you a, it's really giving you a sense of completion. Um, I mean, because and you, and the thing is, keep in mind you have earned this. Um, this hasn't just happened and fallen into your lap overnight. This has happened. This has come after a considerable amount of patience and planning. So. 
So we have Solitude, which is the card of Virgo in traditional tarot. And it's falling under the Devil card of Temptation. Um, and I think that, uh, I mean, the, what, the, what the other thing that the devil card represents is it can represent our ego mind. Um, it can represent, um, you know, some of our, some of our fears, um, some of our deepest seated fears, uh, it can represent addictions, um, As a closing energy, we have awareness. This is a beautiful card. This is the card of the magician um, in traditional tarot. So the magician is so well balanced. Uh, the magician, he or she, it's just an energy. It doesn't matter which. They're a manifester. So this tells me that, you know, for some Aries out there, I mean, you are absolutely manifesting middle of the month, December. You're manifesting something big and something beautiful in your life. Something that you've been that you've been planning for for some time. Patiently waiting for. It's bringing in a transformation into your life. That's coming in quickly. And I mean, three beautiful cards. Harmony. Spiritual union. And fulfillment of wishes. Yeah, so whatever this is for Aries out there, I mean, go for it. Absolutely. You know, you've, uh, you've worked hard for this. Um, it'll happen. Because you're manifesting. So yeah, wow, this is exciting. Good for you. Um, what a, what a fun read. It's a great time to be in Aries, right? All right, my name's Morty. Thanks again for uh, joining me on this read, letting me share it with you. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to take a look at some of my other reads that I've made available on my channel, and be sure to share. Thanks. Have a great day.